Hello, welcome to the Bible study. Oh yeah, and tomorrow there's going to be some clips from a trip I took um, a while ago. So, yeah. If you're interested, the uh, about different like art pieces in this city I went to. Anyway. Listening and doing. Chapter 1, verses... Oh, oh, yeah, James. Chapter 1, verses 19 through... 27. My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. <clears throat> You know what? We need to hear this on loop. My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Uh, yeah, if someone could just make a loop of that rolling over and over again, that would be great. I am not kidding. We all need to hear this. Me included. Everyone. Just need to be constantly reminded of this, especially now we're Oh, no, none of this happens. Everyone doesn't listen. They speak immediately, and their rage is in seconds. Yeah. <coughs> I think the internet helped this a lot. And what situation does this talk about? Every single one. Okay. So, got it? Now let's continue. Because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. Got that? Good. So, well, what if, like, somebody did something? Maybe wait for the entire story to come out. Look for the evidence yourself. Go to the source. Make sure they actually said that. Make sure the context is right. Because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. No reason why I'm privacing the ranked video. So the ones I found my playlist. Therefore get rid of all moral filth and the evil that is so prevalent and humbly accept the word planted in you which you can no which can save you. <clears throat> all mortal moral filth is a Interesting way of putting it. Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Is this salvation by works? No. Actually, Mike Greener has done excellent work going through this section of James and proving that it's not trying to say salvation of works, that works equals salvation. That's actually saying the opposite. I think works prove salvation which Christians believed way before the Catholic Church even existed. Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like someone who looks at his face in a mirror and after looking at himself 
goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. You saw Jesus said that, didn't you? I was saying that because I saw Jesus said that. No, that's in James. Wow. I completely forgot where that was from. But yeah, imagine someone looks in the mirror. They look ugly. Well, fixable ugly. Like their teeth are, they have things in their teeth, their hair is a mess, and all those other things. They walk away and just go right out of that. Or like they have this huge blood stain or snot dripping out of their nose. Yeah. But whoever intentionally into whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues in it, not forgetting what they have heard, but doing it, they will be blessed in what they do. Uh, no, there's no way. Those who consider themselves religious and yet do not keep a tight rein on their tongues deceive themselves and their religion is worthless. Religion that God our Father accepts as pure and f faultless is this, to look after orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. Interesting. Very interesting. 